which I am going to cover today. So, I will switch to the Angular JS, then we create an Angular application, the first Angular application, then about the few developer tool tips, then talk about the JavaScript patterns which uh, used in Angular, then I will talk about the MVC component. So what Angular JS is? So this is a JavaScript framework. Uh, web application. What Angular JS is? So it's an open source framework. Developed Angular JS. It's this is a bigger community. What bigger community helps means all the problems, all the queries related to the Angular JS will be that hit of a bigger community of Angular JS. Nowadays, nowadays it's a very popular uh, JavaScript framework because it to write less code. You can waste less time to develop yeah. so the first thing on Angular JS will talk MVC. So what is MVC? So it's a model view controller uh, Angular JS use uh, controller. So model but uh, it keeps the uh, the date session uh, but what, what generally renders on a browser where user interacts with the read on the right activity and that is where exactly the business object what is right mention also there in GitHub. So anyone can download that code. They can model. if it has to work in their way, they can customize it. If found any issue, they can directly submit the Angular guys. So Angular as not only the uh, Google guys currently are hundred plus unique developers who, who contribute to the Angular GS company. So, why think it's a complete? Uh, Angular handles a JAX communication with the server that we can send and receive data from backend and as a job So, we need to call any get and set to update those data. And handles showing data on page. Uh, using partial template or modifying the HTML elements, it updating data or user interaction. So, if user lets in anything in the text field, it automatically copies it to the model. We don't need to listen to any event. We what we have to do, we have to just angular certain text box on certain piece of data model and both in sync. So two way binding also. So so what interaction in the view changes happen in model tablets in view. And the more uh Angular handles routing, moving view to another view. This is by to change the view on user interaction and it's in a browser. So, with a new URL, which can be moved back after changing the view. That's what Angular JS is very comprehensive so because it, it, it reduces effort uh, for the 
because it handles those by itself. And I'm just testable. So, guys, we get a lot of mocking, a mock API. So, so many things in the AngularJS, you can mock it, could touch it. There, there are a lot of new methods which are only developed to make it testable. test using JS, which again developed by the angular JS okay. and so that extends the HTML vocabulary so how it you see uh, the code snippet here so this is an input where you have ID and type and is the angular component so what you can say custom component which the developer can write and perform element go to the next snippet the multi-state button so this is an element so what before angular compiles this multi state button can be replaced with some HTML to perform some specific task. With her, so we can have our own attributes, own, own product, and we can take and so it just extends the HTML vocabulary. So these are this focus, multi state button, user title. These are not predefined HTML. Not the predefined HTML attribute or prop Angular just custom thing right and behave the way they want. So that it extends the HTML vocabulary. I'll talk about the Angular architecture. So the the, the fundamental architecture, which is a two-way binding, which is a very AngularJS is so much popular. It reduces effort from the effort. So, so if I talk about the two binding, inputs in formal instantly of the model. It updates the model. In most of the cases, the not, I mean, the watch any specific event and respond to them and manually update the HTML. This is care by the Angular itself, by its two-way binding. Okay. So, don't have to put data in specific structure to add and setter to read and write data. We can put data directly into a plain JavaScript object and the response whenever data changes. Automatically, the view. So we don't have to listen. So what it does, it, there is a particular cycle where, where Angular go and check all the data whether it has changed or not. It changes the update the view. That's what the dirty is. And the is dependency injection. What it, it encapsulates the position better so that it improves the testability and it improves the managing of your uh, I mean the modules of your entire application. We'll talk about the dependency injection in the future classes. Angular components. So the basic components of Angular. It starts from where Angular application. So it contain both the logic and the state of the application. And this is how it talks and listen to the user by its view. And controller can communicate to the view by two way binding and one way binding. Mainly a uh, part of the view, talk more about the directive and, and classes and details. And cost services. So, service 
place to contain the real logic and state of the application. As in task, complex business logic, this is a place where we can communicate to the actual server. Okay, then an application, uh, uh, Angular JS application. So, so what it writes Angular JS official website. Uh, so this says it's HTML enhanced for web apps. So you download the latest version, the current three, the article on one dot four four two the track one dot four. So the the examples which Angular guys has provided with a YouTube video which uh, you can go through to understand few things. Then you can go to the long section. There are a few videos, there are a few courses, tutorial. Then CDAP project template. So, what it CDAP project template is, it just gives you a structure to uh, template to start with the uh, to develop Angular JS application. So, this is there in GitHub. We'll, we'll, we'll do that on our, our next classes. And Section where the tutorial is there, the developer guide is there, right? where you can see if the concepts has been explained what is controller, what is service, what is redundancy injection, expressions, filters, everything has been described uh, here. Then we can go to the uh, development. We time. So, here if you see, there are Angular functions been defined, the directives has been defined. The services, I mean, uh, and so this good Angular guys has given documentation. So documentation is very good. So you can go to directly to the documentation. Then there is a website called to be Angular is all. So the thing, but with uh, here the Angular JS team has put it to websites, few applications, few applications, few applications, web applications which has been developed using. It. So this I am showing just to uh, just you can go through that and you can see what kind of applications can be developed in Angular to get to that. Okay, this can be done. In Angular. And third one which I want to show is a plug. Okay, third. So, Plunker is nothing but it provides you a developer environment to start with. It. So, in the next class, is how to develop a developer environment locally. But for today, I am going to use Plunker because it has a developer environment from which we can start quickly. Okay, okay, start with our. Oh. 
first step in this application, we need an Angular dot JS. So this is starting point to any Angular JS application. So this JS can be downloaded from web. You can add as a strict tag. And the other thing we need to add, we need to add an in-app attribute to our XTML. So in-app is nothing but a directive. So directives are what I explained before. It's just XTML. And it is nothing but it's a short form of Angular. Let's say if this is the band basic, then where any app we put from there on the band. So once it goes to the HTML and it looks for the ng, ng app, if it finds the ng app from there, on, it okay. We So on the right side, the popular packages are showing, and Angular JS at the top. But we can search also here in the search packages. So what I'll do, I'll just go ahead and add new version of Angular. It just add 2.28 Angular.js file. In some server, order. so if we have, if we do a local repo, we download this Angular JS file and put it, or we can directly source this path. As in some server, so for our case, we are good to go. This is enough to start Angular. So the text, hello. So by adding this Angular JS. It moves to an Angular application. So what we have to do, we have to add the in app and we reload the application again. And we see so we know if Angular is working. So here we'll just double curly braces. So this is a finding question in Angular. So if I put here 3.4 divided by 28. Has computed. So, what HTML? Four by twenty eight. So, can be so it can be. We are deep level also. So if I put it at div and I can So what finding expression? It's taking the expression and it's computing. So means our Angular is taking this. Uh, can we put at any level? We can people follow at the root structure. HTML file, which is HTML uh, tag. So there, we can put it body. We can put it div anywhere. So, so just make a quickly a div. And here, what I'll, I'll put here. So application. And putting it up anywhere in the application doesn't make any sense. It will be at the root level, so from there on, Angular can take So if put inside this div, then we can see a few and so the result. So we have we have application with Angular. Yes. Okay. We'll put 
be write a input tag again a directive uh, g app So we can see the more item. So this attack has been the type ng model, which is nothing but message, and this we see it. So this is what the map of angular js the binding the binding so this this is our first angular see how pretty easy so this is if we have achieved the same in the chief query so I have to listen to the on key and we have to read that element in mini to display Convert. So I have not involved my script. You can see. So only index.html I can able to achieve this. So the thing in here to render that. So here we are talking about the developer toolkits and very quickly go through this. So Plunker, so Plunker, what we have used here, so Plunker is a very useful tool. Uh, so again, this Plunker also has been developed in Angular JS. So what uh, we can create a new temp new Plunk for template also. So we can see here we can have a script your changes. We can add new file. We can add the CSS. CSS HTML, whatever file we need, we can have a description here. Then, like, GitHub, GitHub is nothing but uh, online repository tool. We can post code there. Anyone can download, anyone can modify. So, and then we can see we can download this as a chip file and we can post on our loop. So, we can develop application here. We can download that as a chip file. We can post the server and we can run that application. We can send to some. One type preview, so whenever you we'll click it, uh, it's low application. So, this small one manually refresh it, and this is a So, this is we are talking about the view which should render and all. This is all the external. Libraries, very angular, anything, anything external libraries, and all will not add to our application. So where it shows any error and all, if it's there, uh, uh, code link is hinting. And this is a small set of things. We can set everything. We can change the themes of our editor. We can make it eclipse thing. So we can see the changes as it changes. We can make it refresh so what will happen anytime any changes to the file it, the view will auto refresh we can so, uh, we will okay then we'll quickly move to so, okay. so, home tool. so 
it's a very useful one developing any uh, wave hybrid application so uh, you can open this chrome demo. so in the back uh, the command option i will offer the tool in, or we can do a right click do an inspect element either on the windows or windows it will open this and again, this element page is nothing but this is a view so we see how this view has been text alignment, everything we can see here, we can dynamically modify here, we can see uh, what is interested dynamically modifying the elements, uh, the class and all, and then we can get a copy to the CSS file. We want, uh, on the second network here, all the service calls happen, so if any uh, call I'll do, I can see uh, or get what kind of data I'm sending with the service, what all response got, everything can be looked uh, here. So I, I can uh, go to the look that. If I put any breakpoints, I can put that. This thing is good. This is the time we can JavaScript execution time it takes, how much memory it's taking, how much rendering our application to. Here we can can do a protein, we can take a heap memory snapshot, heap allocation, chart, heap profiling, everything can be done. Yeah, this so in our applications or applications, we use a local storage, local storage application as well. These are SDI features, index table, those things. And console, if anything goes wrong with the application, so there are open my script layer, I just type something, then I run my application, and it throws it, it doesn't know what this is. So that's how this console is useful. Let's put it console dot I can go to course, I can open that file. I can run it again. So, see it resume again. So, this can be done easy. So, useful. So, whenever debating, uh, debating any application, it's the best thing to do. Chrome debugging tool, then quickly the next slide, uh, which talk about the JavaScript patterns which is used in the Angular app. So there are a few patterns which uh, follows by the Angular uh, application. So, so we know JavaScript use functional programming of a JavaScript. Uh, that so the which I'll talk about the JavaScript pattern is functional abstraction. So what what the function is abstraction. So I'll, uh, I have a I have a variable uh, which has been assigned to a function. Here I'm doing things. I'll, I'll just print a console log uh, which says. Just define the option. We will now have to call it. This will call work. Move, clear my console. It's working hard. So, abstraction. So, we have defined a function. We have assigned it to variable. Then, call the variable as a function. Let's say, say var do work equal to a function which takes a character as a function, and I'll call this function inside my body.
have not passed any parameters that's why it's uh there's a little pass work as a parameter so a function which is taking the argument as a function and calling a function inside that so, so again called to work and calling the to work Function. This is how the function abstraction works. And control everything follows this approach. Then an expert which is functions to build models. So I follows the modular approach of JavaScript. So this function we can use function to build models. So how the model structure like this so here we can create a variable or an object I can say from a function let's say or a cluster what we call in other worker dot job one so dot job two so to can be anything in the real application, maybe making the uh, data, doing some uh, job to that. So this is how we achieve this. So that I'll see worker and to a function which me job. So there are so many ways. Uh, so let's say, say here uh, I can return and function it is to a function and I can so but I don't want to uh, so this also can be doable so but what in a way, uh, what will the variable do? And we will assign that to a function. Not log of task. We can have. Job It's unexpected token. What happened? The next there. Print. So you can see the task one and task one are the private. Function create worker and but we have exposed the job one job two out of that uh, object on the other world only have access to job one and job two. So this is what the function is the function to build modules. Let's say if I say worker dot one run my application. But the task one we have not exposed it. So for the modular approach, we can have a uh, local uh, the, the the of that function. Let's say we can say what sound. What zero? And what you can do? Okay, what count plus equal to. We increment the work count every time. 
do a time. Then we print it. So let's call few more jobs. And again, this is how the, the, the workaround is uh, able to a function which we have not explored, but it, we can use that in a uh, uh, count. So, this modular approach of the uh, modular uh, in which function can be used to build models. The bad thing is here we have. So many global because because these are not this function directly we have uh, the paper chairs at the window level. The global variable and programming the global variables are dangerous. And for JavaScript global variables are monster. Remove that. This is functions to avoid global variables. So how we use functions again to avoid global variables? So, we, so what we do? We have a more variable named program. We assign to a function. In we put the entire program in the board. So Clear my console. Yeah. And what I have done, I have reduced from two global variable to now one global. That means I have a global variable used by anyone which can be modified by anyone, so which is still not good practice. So, so what my four top immediately invoke function expression. So now again we'll use a function to reduce the global variable count to zero. How we can how we do that. And what what, what we do will remove this variable also. We'll wrap it up inside a uh, function. So we'll so a function and we pass the argument is the entire function, the function itself for my application. So we quickly run the application. So that is So as script.js is loaded, my this function is getting and everything will get executed. Make global variable to zero. And everything what I have shown you now using the function. How we have used the function to build modules, how we have made a global variable to zero. This is what Angular also uses. After the so this is onwards and the next class is onwards, whatever I'll talk about. So now this is angular. So what the angular says. So in my previous slide, and this is the module view controller. And controller is a G controller. If we use controller, we have to use this directive in our HTML. NG in Angular. So, we have to say we have to just NG controller to uh, acquire the name of that controller. So, this name can be the main controller. Any 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 name can be given. And then Angular do so whenever Angular do a compilation of the HTML file or whenever it reads the HTML file, it for each time G dot dash app from there on it takes the control, then it is this NG controller and 
calls this function a main controller automatically. How Angular knows where the controller is? We have to define main controllers. So this is a lot of abstraction what I have shown in my previous. So the function and function takes a parameter called dollar scope dollar. So again an Angular specific like ng. So where Angular application uses dollar means it's an Angular component. Pass a parameter called scope and here it is model. So create scope object which is attached to that control and Object contains the model. So here, message is a model. Nothing but a property to a scope object. Next, so models. What I have explained. Model are the properties of a scope, and scope is attached to the top where access through binding. So, example, you can see. In this scope dot message, we have mentioned hello angular, and this we can make a binding expression, and we we in view through binding, and we a template and specific directive. The scope as parameter. So scope, scope can have values. So this was MBC component in Angular. So quickly, uh, uh, for example, section plunker. And we So to the bots in a China NG controller, and we can main the So to do, we have to define the controller equal to function which parameter is We have been binded with the binding expression. Dot is already so forced in. So now I quickly go and application. Oh, there is a terminal ng controller. So 
This is how we have used a controller simple to print hello angular. So message a model here. And checked at the controller. Level. So we create a controller. It creates a scope object in which we can in our model. And this model using the and provide the SML attribute we say this body is the in body is made that is the second the controller model so like slides so what our next slide is our next slide is the ability so what are Multiple controllers. So you can see the example of view have multiple controllers. So you can see we have a body tag. So there are divs, the controllers which has been in controller chart controller. So you can have multiple controllers. So doesn't have to be a single property of scope object. So an uh, object can be also a uh, object for scope. So you can see the second uh, control stock controller here stock dot symbol. So and symbol are properties to that object and again stock object for scope. So the scope the would be a complex one. So we have the methods and everything. So, so we can see there is a div inside that. There is another div where different that is chart controller. So we can have a nested controller. So inside a controller, we can have give the control to some other control for some things. So it's possible. Is not only used in Angular to show text view, it can be used to manipulate uh, any attributes of the HTML element. Like we can see, there is an example image element where source is attribute, where giving the source we are to a model. So they replace the URL, and that URL can be controller, same alt. Attribute the description can be in control model, and that we can uh, plunker. So that works. So I'll go to the script notches and I'll create a var name or even var detail. Stop. 
binding expression. Can say D dot loss. And again, and you see first name, first name, hello, PM. So done here. So now our model is an object, and we have objects with a dot operator in our view. So so what is necessary? Only we use the binding expression to uh, print text in our view. One do we can also so what will source and why So here we give the details not see has been loaded using the binding expression. So what I do is define a model where I run the URL and that URL I have binded to the source attribute. So and not attribute can be modified with or can be controlled with the binding expression. So here I put one more attribute let's say title and I'll say name Again, but on the image, you can see the emoji appears. So, also using the binding, so you're seeing there are few bad requests are coming. So, what the browser it detects a source attribute, it downloads what so it's so my angular work before this is so equal to determinations after angular compiles html it replaces this source again it's an attribute so now So this simple view controller and the complex object replacing the attributes value by so this is the complex says how we place our first demo or first block and we change forward then it will be a lot of exciting because we'll cover a lot more features similar. We can see team, we can see services, directives, so many things. That's thank you. Thank you.